<laughs> it's gone swimmingly. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, I wanted to give you an update on Goose. We did a walkthrough before we left. If you haven't watched that first walkthrough video, you can check it out here or maybe here. I'm not sure where it goes on the screen. <laughs> but uh, we've changed a few things and wanted to show you what we find useful and how we use everything. And uh, so come take a look. This is our main area that we hang out in, that we cook in. It's kind of everything. So. This is the tailgate uh, has some storage. We just use it for soft storage still. We have like a recovery strap in there. And I think Tim has coveralls and maybe some soft shackles in these. So just some extra space that we use for storage. Sometimes we'll use this as a table. We'll put our camp chairs here and sit and eat. And then, um, but most of the time we just hang out like this. Have a little floor mat, <laughs> which is just extra. But sometimes it's nice if it's muddy or anything, we can just throw this on the ground with something to step on and put your shoes on. But most of the time it just hangs out kind of right back here. Um, but it's nice to have to be able to pull out. Okay, over here we have our hose and it goes to the flexi tank, which is back in the fender back here. And although it is clean drinking water, generally we use this for like washing dishes and kind of the extra water and we have bottle opener right here my little broom for cleaning um, hot pad which is clean I have cleaned this many times but it still looks disgusting and then our, our little cutting board um, so those always just live back there and they're super handy to get to on the floor back here, I just cut up a yoga mat and kind of just cut it to fit. And that's nice because it's not quite as slippery and it's just a little bit softer on your feet. So um, that was something we added right before we left and I actually really like that. Okay, so up here we have what's called sail track and we sewed a little like tarp so that if it's raining, sometimes I'll just have it hanging straight down and that way the, the rain doesn't get in and sometimes we'll pull it out like a awning. And uh, so that's what that is, just slides right in there. And then we also have lights, which you can't see because of the daylight, but there's a little switch here and it just illuminates the kitchen area. So that's really nice when we're prepping food late and you can still see. So over here we have our propane tank. It's a 10 pound tank. Cook pretty often and I think probably lasts us a little over two months with like regular cooking. We don't really cook breakfast too often on it, but we do cook almost every night uh, so we use it quite often and we find that we haven't had any trouble finding a place to refill it really and uh, yeah it works good um, but then we have this table it has magnets so it just is held up by magnets when it's up and then little wires when it's down this is where our stove sits and uh, I'll get that out in a minute and show you back here we have a jerry can for our extra gas we have five gallons of extra gas we have a Lifesaver jerry can that um, we can filter water with. And then we have another five gallons of just drinking water. This one is really nice because it has a spigot on the front. So when the tailgate's all closed up and we're driving, uh, it's easy to hop out, refill water bottles with this one. So this has this little release that lets air out so it fills faster when you're filling, but it makes it super convenient to just hop out, be able to fill water bottles nice to have. So this is, like I said, an extra five gallons of fuel, but we also have uh, extra 18 gallons in an auxiliary tank that we built that just sits kind of where the spare tire would sit, so it's just underneath there. Um, so we have a pretty good range with all of that extra fuel, and uh, I think very rarely have we actually needed to use all of it, but it sure is nice to have as a backup. We have our Lifesaver jerry can, which carries just under five gallons. It's a little less because of the filter that sits in there. Um, we have five gallons here. And then the flexi tank that sits in here is about seven gallons. And we also have a Swiss water bag that carries five gallons there. 
And then if we're in more remote places and we want extra water, we'll also carry an extra five gallons. So total, if we're all loaded up with water, I think we have about 27 gallons of water that we can carry with us. And we found that to be more than enough, so yeah. Okay, so we're gonna look at the passenger side door and I'll show you what's in there. So this is where we generally access the fridge. We can access it from inside, but generally if we're cooking outside, it's just easier to walk around and get to that. So the fridge sits here. You can open it up and I have a little hook so that it stays open, which makes it nice when you're grabbing stuff out. Um, we have some headlamps hanging up here just for easy access. Uh, we have a fishing rod, which sits up here that we don't hardly ever get out. This bag is just filled with little like grocery bags. And um, when we left for the trip, I brought a roll of like real trash bags and quickly found that I couldn't get rid of them anywhere. When you stop at a gas station and you have a big bag of trash, it's really hard to find a trash can that'll fit that. So now I just use little small grocery bags as our trash bags. And that way when we stop to get gas or at a grocery store anywhere, you can just toss that in the trash. And uh, so that has been a really useful tip that I didn't think about before we left. I also keep some cleaning supplies back here. So I have like my dish soap and hand sanitizer. And then we have a, a little table that folds out. It's just a little camp table. We have our camp chairs sitting back here. So we can just pull those out. Underneath that, I have like a little drop cloth tarp and we'll use that like if Tim's crawling under the car or something, we can throw that down or I'm at the beach. Sometimes we'll lay that out as like just a place to sit. Um, just a little bit of extra storage under here. We use every little bit of space that we can. So just some extra stuff tucked in there. We also have shoved under the seat here, the tent poles that we use for the, the back canopy. So those are tucked under there. Under the fridge is where our stove sits. So with this stove, it's nice because the hose just sits and stores inside of it. These are nice when it's windy, especially. And then the hose just sits down in here. Screws in on this side. And then we have actually a quick, quick release fitting on this end. So it's that simple. Turn on the propane and you're good to go. All right, so back here, we'll start up here and work our way back. Uh, I made these before we left and I wasn't exactly sure what it was gonna hold, but it's turned out to hold all of our forks and knives and scissors and pens and even our lighters, which when we're not driving sit usually right here because we use them a lot. And then this is flour and it's just in this little container. And as you can see, everything is like hooked so it doesn't fly when we're driving, but this is actually Clorox wipes, and again, it's in this little bag because that's the only way I can keep it from flying everywhere while we're driving. Dish rags to dry dishes, and then usually my eggs sit under here, and with these kind of wedged in, they stay put most of the time. One time they flew away, and that was not very fun. <laughs> Up here we have a little like paper towel roll, and oddly, in the US paper towels are longer and here uh, they're not and so it allows us to also keep our toilet paper up there. <laughs> so we have toilet paper easily accessible. Um, this I sewed before we left and the idea was that it would be for like vegetables and I didn't do a very good job making it and the vegetables just flop out. So I'm, I've been too lazy to add like I could add velcro so stuff doesn't fly out but um, we just put koozies and random like cups in here and that works pretty well and I don't find that I miss it for the vegetables but it didn't turn out to be what I intended it for. And then this is just another little bag for extra storage. Right now it's housing uh, extra oil <laughs> and our uh, fan for upstairs. And then I usually keep a bag of extra stuff like our snacks, chips, crackers, uh, I think I have extra coffee in there right now. Just some random stuff that is easy and won't be hurt from uh, sitting up here. 
And I got this bag in Guatemala and I have two of them and we always use them for like if we go to a local market. They're really, really handy. And then this one has also become really handy to just hang up here. And I have a little, um, just a little clip up here. And that way when we're driving again, it doesn't fly away. So what it hangs from is, I think it's called airline track. And so it's just this like aluminum piece of metal back here. And it has these little clips that can clip in and out. The airline track is probably one of the best things we added. There's some on the roof that hold the max tracks on. Um, we have one here and two on this side. And I'll show you that in a minute, but everything kind of hangs from them and they've just been a really good addition to the truck. So these two drawers are not that interesting. Up here we have some towels, some extra jackets, and then down below is where we keep all our electronics, laptops, that sort of thing. Um, again, just drawers, not too interesting. And then down here, I usually, when we're in camp, keep a trash bag right here, and it's just handy to, to hang off of that. And then this is just a rope to practice tying a knot and it just hangs there. That's become its home. This table does slide out and when we left we thought we would use it a lot but we, uh, we don't. It just sits here. It is kind of nice to have a double layer so that you can store stuff underneath it but other than that we don't find that we ever really move it very much. So that hasn't been as useful as we thought it would when we left. Okay, so we'll look at the top drawer first. This is one part one of two drawers for our kitchen. And we'll pull it all the way out. So we have coffee stuff for the morning. We use that every single morning. Uh, we just have a cheap French press. Uh, we got it off Amazon, uh, but works really good. Um, we have these cups, which we use for pretty much everything from wine to coffee. Um, and they came all the way from Australia. Matt sent them to us uh, last time we were home and we really, really like those. Um, I also have a travel mug in case we're uh, gonna hit the road kind of early and we can take our coffee with us easier. Um, we have coffee beans up here, a little grinder from GSI, which works great. Um, for an emergency, we have the Starbucks Vias, just in case we cannot find any good coffee, which sometimes is hard. Um, we have the MSR, I think it's called the Reactor. It's just like their version of a jet boil. And, um, we use that every single morning to make our coffee like water for our coffee, which saves us a ton of propane actually we found. And these little canisters are the fuel, but they're not hard. they haven't been hard to find. We were worried about that before we left if we'd be able to find those along the way. And we have. The rest of this is just kind of backup food, canned food, just extra food that we have. So that's that drawer. And then the lower drawer. Um, it's accessible from this side because usually I'm standing at the tailgate uh, getting to all of this stuff. Um, we have just all of our spices and cooking stuff in here. Pots and pans, plates, rice. Um, so just the rest of our cooking stuff really. I'll show you these pans because they are pretty cool. So I wanted to show you these pans which are something that we bought uh, specifically for this trip. They're stainless steel made by Magma. Um, they stack with each other and then they also have a detachable handle so they're really handy and easy to store. Um, I did do a blog post that has a list of everything we have in our kitchen. So if you're interested in what specifically we have, uh, check that out. I'll link it below and it has links to everything so hopefully that's helpful. Okay so now on this side of the truck we have uh, the airline tracks again. So there's one here and one up here and that's what these bags are hanging off of and everything else. Um, up here I've just tucked our rain jackets. Like I said, any little space that we can store anything we use. We have our little speaker hanging here. Just a Bluetooth speaker. Extra storage for toilet paper. And then in this top bag we have our first aid kit. So that sits up there, which is easily accessible, and a few little other things that are kind of first aid related, but that's pretty much all that bag holds because we want it to be dedicated and not have extra clutter. Underneath it, we have like cold weather gear, we have socks and some jackets, um, beanies, that sort of thing in there. 
I have more headlamps hanging off here because you can never have too many headlamps. Just some cords, again, hanging. And then this one has random stuff, umbrellas, some toiletries, and just some extra stuff that we don't get to really that often. This one, again, just more toiletries. We have some of our medicines and mouthwash and bug spray and just extra stuff in there. Um, we have a little light up here, a dome light, which is nice. And the spear gun, which hangs up here. And again, we haven't really used this since Baja. <laughs> when our bed is taken apart, two of the pillows sit here. So that's storage for that. We got this nice rug in Mexico. So it's one of the design features of our truck. And then underneath that, in this compartment, um, it's really heavy, so I'm not gonna pull it out, but we have our tool bag and a lot of oils and liquids and basically just any maintenance stuff sits down there, extra parts, that sort of thing. And then behind that, we have a little charging station. So we have like USB, and uh, actually a voltmeter so we can see what our second battery is at. This front one, again, is just more storage. We have just random soft shackles. We have our awning for the back up there. Just a bunch of random stuff, it's just more storage. Um, stuff that we don't get to very often um, sits under there. So back here behind our tools, we have another little compartment that houses our air compressor, which uh, turns on by the scares you half to death if you accidentally hit it um, and then we have you know just anything to do with air compressor we have some gloves back here and then all the air stuff this is a strut that we got in uh, Bolivia trying to replace the ones that died and it's already died as you can tell it's all covered in grease so that's gonna die soon all right one thing I wanted to show you guys before we move away from the back is kind of our low-tech security system but we have this lock back here and it's it just has a little pin and this is from deny locks and so that just goes in there there's a little key and so you just push this in to lock it and then we have a wire that goes through our jerry cans through the spare tire and then just locks in here so this is the wire that hooks to our little uh, deny lock and um, obviously it's not foolproof but it just prevents people from being able to just easily grab these and walk off. All right, so this is our trash room where we keep all of our trash. It's really nice to have a place to get the trash out of the inside of the truck. Um, on the inside we keep trash and then sometimes we'll throw like firewood in there. We have uh, bleach in there. Muck boots when they're muddy, even when they're not, sometimes we'll store them back here. Um, if we have any fluids that are open, we'll store them back here just so they don't leak. But yeah, super handy to have that. All right, so moving to the driver's side rear door, we have, uh, I made this little window thing, I don't know, it stores a bunch of stuff. We have like a rag in here. We have some of our like uh, snorkeling masks, which we haven't used in a long time. So just random storage in there. Baja fish, super useful in Argentina. Um, we have actually, we just added this and it's our clothing bag and it's actually like a rolling bag that we can pull out and that's been really helpful when you are going to like an Airbnb and we can just drag that out instead of digging through all the drawers to get our clothes. And then we have just our shoes hanging out there. This backpack has other backpacks in it. So we have like our dry bags and any um, backpacks that we might use if we're going to walk away from the truck for a day. We have a couple of soft shackles here because uh, they're easy to grab. So we just have... Uh, I think our Factor 55 and a seven piece soft shackle hanging here because if they're tucked away somewhere, it's hard to get to. So having them right here, quick and easy. Um, underneath here again, just more little storage. We have some of our wine because we're in Argentina. Back here and hats and that's pretty much it. Not too much in that door. Inside here, this is our uh, five gallon Swiss water bag. So that just sits in here when it's full. This is a little bathroom changing tent thing that we have never used but we brought it with us and maybe we'll use it but so far we haven't um, behind that we have our little grill and this is just like a barbecue grate and so we can build a fire and uh, put that over it one of Tim's machetes is here right now we have a brick booster 
uh, because we thought the brake booster was going bad and so we brought this back with us but we haven't installed it yet. Um, we have two fire extingu extinguishers right here um, that are easily accessible from the front. I keep tripods here and we have our little like clothesline so if we have like wet swim trunks or anything we just hang them here. Kind of our little hat rack up there and that's pretty much it. All right, so moving outside and up, we're looking at our pop top now. One of the things that we changed before we left or added was this rain fly. I did so in magnets to the bottom, which in light winds work pretty well. And when we have heavier winds, we use these like ratchet straps here to just help hold that down in the wind. Uh, we also added this bungee that just helps when we pull the top down. So we just put it up like that. And as we pull down, it kind of helps pull it in. We can roll this rain fly up. So we have little clips up there and you can just roll it up and get it out of the way. And that's pretty much how we always have it unless it's uh, bad weather. All right, welcome to the upstairs inside of our pop top. And this is obviously where we sleep. And so I'll just go through kind of our setup. So our main pillows that we have are um, actually Nemo pillows. And uh, I just sewed a pillowcase for them. And then we added just a, a tiny layer of foam and they're really, really comfortable. So they do their air, they inflate and then they have their own layer of foam and we added foam. Um, those work really well and we keep them up here when we uh, close the top. They compress really well when we put the top down. And then um, we have these, I don't even know what they are, thermarests. They're just cheapo pillows that roll up and we actually store these downstairs when we close the bed up. So we each have one of those. Okay, so for our main comforter, we have a uh, Nemo sleeping bag and it's actually a like dual sleeping bag for two people. It's like a comforter. And we ordered it after we measured the width of our thing and thought it would be great and it's not. It actually, if you are laying perfectly flat, it fits over you. But if you like turn on your side, which both of us sleep on our sides, it doesn't fully cover you. So. What I ended up doing, again, with my great sewing skills, I took a like down blanket that I think we got from Costco and just cut it in half and sewed it onto the sides so that now the sleeping bag is wider and so it you know, can wrap around us better, um, which has actually worked really well, but it's, it's not very pretty. Right. And then under our comforter, we have a sheet and then we each have a separate sleeping bag. We've found that in the colder climates, it's nice to have our own sleeping bags that we can wrap up in. So we each have our own sleeping bag. And then underneath everything is a uh, fitted sheet. And I do the sheets just because it, then it's easy. I can take everything out and wash it when we have a washing machine or a chance to wash. And then just for added comfort and warmth, we have this like fleece blanket that we keep up here as well. And then moving up, this is where we mount our fan. So in the warm weather, we have a fan that mounts right here. This string we just recently added and it's actually for our iPad, which I have creatively come up with a hanging system. So I just used like a GoPro mount on the back and it works to hang on there. So we watch movies on that. And we do have a little like touch light that's just battery up here. So we do have a light from above. Here is just a little holder. We throw our cell phones up there so this is the handle we use to pull the top down. It is magically and beautifully crafted by me. You can see my clear skills in sewing and I wasn't really frustrated with sewing at the time of making this. I think this was probably the last thing that I sewed before we left and I just was like, well, I don't care, whatever, finish it. Um, but we use this to pull the top down. Um, we have two ropes so that it's equally pressurized. We had it on just one when we first started and noticed that it would kind of like tilt the top a little bit when we were pulling it down so we just added a second rope. And then we hang our keys here so we can unlock and lock the, the truck from up here and we always know where they're at when we're in bed. And then just a little surefire light, uh, it's just a little flashlight. That's pretty much it for up here, it's not too complicated. So on the front of the truck, about the only thing we've changed is we added a Factor 55 flat link. When we were at Overland Expo, they uh, gave this to us and we're huge fans of Factor 55 and uh, love having this thing. So on the front of the truck, that's pretty much all that's changed. Again, if you want to see more about the winch and all of that stuff, check out this video. And that's it. Alright, so moving up to the front. Not a lot has changed up here. 
So we still have our Delarm inReach, which we use all the time, our ham radio, which we use not that often actually. There's not a lot of people to talk to out here, so we don't actually use that very much. We have these little solar lights. They inflate and we just keep them in the windshield and they're super handy to have. The other thing we've added, a little magnetic uh, cell phone holder, super exciting. And then I think the seat covers are something we picked up in Guatemala from Kaiza. Thank you, Kaiza. And other than that, that's pretty much it. If you want to know more about the mechanical side, our suspension, winch, all of that kind of stuff, check out our first video because we did talk about that there in more detail and uh, nothing has changed really with that. Yeah, that's that. All right guys, so that is the updated tour of Goose. I hope you enjoyed looking through everything. <laughs> As you can see, not a lot has changed. It's a small space, but we make it work. Hopefully some of the things that we've figured out in our traveling in him will help you guys figure out your setup. If you have any questions, if we missed anything, let us know in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. Quick tour of, no, I don't wanna say quick tour because it's not gonna be quick. It's not quick, why do I keep saying quick? <laughs> this is going swimmingly. <laughs> Cut. We so su sewed, so sued. <laughs> why? Why when we're filming? Can I not talk? It's a ten pound, right? It's a ten pound. Good taste. I'm not good at rambling. Hey guys, so we'll look at the passenger side door. I'm gonna do it again. Hey guys, so this is the passenger. I don't need to say hey guys. I hate when I say hey guys. Put this tap. Mm. Tim, put this tap in. Still, I never shut it off. Okay. What kind of pans are they? Magma. You want to say that in a way that, like... And they are... No brand on here. This one has it. <laughs> Stop laughing at me. You make it so much worse. <laughs> I don't know how to say things. I don't like talking. <laughs> work, I don't know. <laughs> and I think that's it. Cool. Excuse me, another burp from that delicious Mexican hogger. If I deny locks. Whoa, that giant fly just blew my face. <coughs> <laughs> it's up there. It's kind of hard to ignore when it goes right into your eyeball. Yeah. I'm gonna open it for the shot. Oh, hello. Because they, uh, they air, because they shrink. Aerolate? Is that the word you're going for? No. They de, -air de, de -airify? <laughs> So the air goes in them, but then when the air aerolates out, then. <laughs> no, so they. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you know how to you speak English. Really good.